Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing another day in my life. I've just done one of these this Monday, so the 1st of July. Today is Friday the... Oh my god, I can't maths. Is it the 5th? Uh... Yeah, it's the 5th of July. <laughs> Sorry, my mind just went blank there. Um, yeah, I'm at my mum's house. I'm babysitting the kids for two more days. So my mum's actually coming back tonight. And then she's got something going on tomorrow. So I'm here until like tomorrow night. Anyway, today is a Friday, <laughs> which means my sisters are at school. Um... So I've got like a bit of day left to myself before like the weekend comes and there's some stuff I want to do, reading related and also like books related. So I thought I'd take you along and also it's a tiny bit sunny so we might also get outside. <laughs> um, That's about it. I need to rush now and go and wake up one of my sisters because the other one's already ready, had breakfast and all done and ready for school and then the little one is still fully asleep <laughs> so gotta wake her up gotta get ready and then drop them off her school and then i'll get back to you Okay, it's actually so hot today like it's cloudy but it was a bit sunny and it's just hot so um yeah i dropped my sisters off at school and i went to um the shopping center um to <sighs> i'm sorry i was i i have it planned in my mind like what i'm gonna say and then i just forget um Went to the shopping centre. Oh, because my mum told me a new bookshop opened um, in the shopping centre. So I was like, oh, I need to check that out while I'm here. And and it's a really cool bookshop. It has like books and like CDs, DVDs and like even vinyls. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, they just have good books in general. So I got two books there. <laughs> Let me show you what those books are. So I got One Day by David Nichols. So I've already seen the Netflix TV show of this, but I wanted to read it too because apparently the book is different. Um, I don't know if it's... Some people have said the book is worse. Which which is unusual because usually they say like the movies worse, but um, yeah, I'm really curious. And also, this was one fifty, great deal. And then I've also got this book, The Vanishing Sky by L. Annette Binder. Um, this was only fifty p. Yeah, fifty p. Um, and it looks it looks brand new and oh okay sorry this is like a general fiction kind of book it's got like a romance subplot but it's just basically following two people's lives and they're like friends and like they meet after after uni so they meet on the night of their graduation and it just follows them for all their life or that's what i know the tv show is about <laughs> i don't actually know if the book is like the same concept but I think it is. Um, anyway, this is a World War II story. And I mean, I guess it's historical fiction because it's about like World War II. Um, World War II Germany. 
So it follows this German family. Yeah, and it follows like the mother, the husband, like the father, and their two children, one children, two children, Max and George. So Max is like fighting on the front lines, but suddenly he is discharged. And Etta, the mum, knows that something is unright. Um, and George is at a school for the Hitler Youth. It's set in 1945. So that's when the war ended, isn't it? So that's like the last year. Yeah, I don't know. I like World War II stories. I know, I, I, I don't like saying that because how can you like like it but I do enjoy reading about like World War II yeah I, I can't phrase it differently so I'm curious to see what this has to offer if anyone has read any of these before let me know what your thoughts are and then I went into this new charity shop that opened also in my shopping centre um, and I saw that they had like a huge book section and <laughs> I bought another two books so these two books were two pounds and the charity shops the charity shop books were also two pounds so I got I got this one for one pound oh, I hate when they have stickers on books I'm sorry I'll, I'll deal with that later seven days by Alex Lake so it says in seven days Maggie's son Max turns free but she's not planning a party or buying presents or updating his baby book she's dreading it because in her world third birthdays are the days on which unthinkable things happen she loses her child for the last 12 years Maggie has been imprisoned in a basement abducted at age 15 she gave birth to two sons before Max and on their third birthday, her captor came and took them away from her. She cannot let it happen again, but she has no idea how to stop it and the clock is ticking. Mystery thriller vibes, I think. It sounds like it. Um, yeah, it sounds like a thriller. But yeah, um, I don't think I've ever read anything from the sofa before. Also... Also, these all of these so far, never read any books from these authors before. So I am very curious to read this. And also it was only one pound, so obviously I'm gonna buy it. And then lastly, this was also one pound. <laughs> and I'm just so happy to finally have this copy because I love this book. I have read this book before. One out of four I've read. <laughs> Um, I have read this book, I love it, and yeah, I'm just so glad to have my own copy. The Book for Eve. <laughs> um, yeah, this is another historical fiction, and another um, World War II Germany story. But basically, it's just an amazing and emotional story. The book and the movie, I love both of them. Obviously the book has like more context to it and like more like little things going on. Whereas the movie is like more overall and like trying to get the big things across. So I do love both. Both the movie and the book made me cry. Like e even though when I was watching the movie, I knew what was gonna happen, it still made me cry because I knew what was going to happen. Um, but yeah, I I love this book and I can't wait to... I want to do a reread and see if it makes me cry again. Um, no, I just want to do a reread because... Sorry. Because it's just amazing. So that's my little book haul for you guys. I do have... Was that upside down? That was upside down. I am very sorry. That's my little book haul for you guys. Um, and I do actually have, is it two books? Yeah, two books upstairs that I bought yesterday or the day before. And I want to show you that too. And lastly, I got a coffee, an iced coffee, which I'm going to drink and we're going to go, woohoo, um, energetic, hopefully. Right, 
let me show you my two books from Mustaz. I did just bring down the whole pile. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so um, the other day after my dentist appointment, which I survived, as you can tell, I'm still here. Um, <laughs> after the dentist appointment, I went to Asda, which is a shop that has a book section. And I was not gonna buy any books. And then I was like, ooh, but those look like good books. And I survived a dentist, I need like a reward for actually going. So I bought this book, Off to the Races by Elsie Silver. I thought this was a new release, right? Because I have been seeing this everywhere on like Bookstagram, Booktalk, just everywhere. But um, I looked, I looked it up and it said it got released in 2021. So I think maybe this is a new cover. I don't really know. But this is like a first book in the Gold Rush Ranch series. So another like small town cowboy romance vibe. And, and yeah, all the other books in the series are already out. So since I finished Chestnut Springs, which is also by Elsie Silva, I thought this would be a great start into some of her other reads. Um, also, Wild Love I've read and Wild Eyes is coming out in September. Um, so until then, maybe I can catch up on some of Elsie Silva's other books. And then I've also got Checkin', Checkin Mate by Ali Hazelwood. So this is um i was looking at the front of this also by ali hazelwood so i've got all her adult novels all her stem romances so i've got the love hypothesis love and the blade <laughs> right that was too fast the love hypothesis love and the brain and love theoretically i own all of those and also the new one not in love and then this is like a i think it's a ya romance so those other ones are adult romances this is a ya romance and it follows a chess player two chess players i don't really know but it's something about chess as you can probably tell and yeah i haven't read this book but i've read like all her other re releases there is a book called loath to love you which it says it's an adult anthology. I think it's like short stories in one. And I, I haven't read that yet. And I don't own that. But now I kind of own all her books. Except those. So yeah. I really want to read this. Because I so far every Ali Hazelwood book I've loved. So yeah. And also I'm meeting her next week. And I can't wait yeah on that note i do need to read not in love before next week so i really do need to get on to reading this um today tomorrow the weekend because because this is what she's going to talk about <laughs> next week and yeah also this has a disclaimer at the start well not a disclaimer a little message so it says, Dear reader, I just want to drop a quick note to let you know that Not In Love is tonally a little different from the works I've published in the past. Rue and Eli have dealt with and still deal with the fallout from issues such as grief, food insecurity and child neglect. They are eager to make a connection but not sure how to go about it except through a physical relationship. The result is, I think, less of a rom-com and more of an er erotic romance. Rue and Eli's story has, of course, a happily ever after, but it also contains some serious themes and I wanted to give you a heads up so you know what to expect. Love, Ali. So, I've heard people review this book and everyone said it's very spicy and, like, very explicit and it's a lot more explicit than Ali Hazelwood's previous books and um, people have said to like read the note at the front <laughs> because she literally says it's more of an erotic romance um, but yeah obviously I'm still interested because I love all her books 
but we'll see if I love it as much as I did with like all the other STEM romances. And then got my Kindle of what I am reading currently. I am reading A Thousand Boy Kisses, which is on my July TBR. It's the first book on my July TBR. Can't wait to cross it off when I finish. Um, I'm currently 58% of the way through and yesterday it nearly made me cry but okay can I just say it started off weird like it wasn't like there was an age gap because there wasn't they're the same age like the girl and the boy in the story they're the same age but it started off with them as five years old and then it got to them being like eight years old, like they went up in age, but at eight years old, I'm sorry, this is a spoiler, but they were already kissing. And I'm like, I don't know. I think eight years old is a bit early to start, but um, but yeah, you go guys. Um, I don't know what else to say really. And yeah, I've just been getting some weird vibes so far. I don't know if it's because it's YA, but like, I usually am fine with YA. Like, I know it's not really for my age anymore, but I, I can still like appreciate it for what it is. And this one, it's just been, there's been like little things that I'm just like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. But yeah, I. I guess I do like it, like it's not it's not a DNF, it's not a two star, three stars at least I think, because it, it, yeah, I, I don't really know why, um, I guess because it nearly made me cry. It does have some like emotional scenes, um, nothing that caught me off guard yet, like I can see what's coming um, and I could see it like from the very beginning, so I guess we'll see. Okay, I need to do some chores, um, like put away the dishes and put some clothes in the washing machine to wash. And I need to have some breakfast <laughs> and this and like food, but yeah. So see you guys later. Oh, on another note, um, sorry, I was just taking pictures of my books for um, Instagram and um, I just remembered so it was election day yesterday in the uk and i went to whoa well, guys i voted it was my first time voting with a british passport and also my first time voting in like a huge general election which was crazy i mean um like the the actual process of voting itself like it wasn't crazy because I just went and voted and that's it. <laughs> like, I just ticked a box on a piece of paper. Um, or was it a cross? I think I put a cross. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, Labour won. So if you're in the UK, let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm not very, like, political, but I do like to, like, keep up with the news. And let me just say, Conservatives have been shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's that. But at the same time, I'm, like, grateful for them because they did do, um, they did, like, provide me with my student finance for uni. But then again, they were the ones who raised the uni fees, I'm pretty sure, back in the day. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm, like, yeah, I'm kind of happy they're gone, especially in, like, the last, was it the last year? I swear we've had like so many prime ministers. I think it's just been the last year. Like there's been Boris Johnson, he was the one through COVID. And then Theresa May, was he? Oh wait, no, he was before Boris. Oh, okay. David Cameron, Theresa May, Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, and then Rishi. I don't know. But we've had a lot of Prime Ministers, okay, here in the UK, and it's been a bit eh, crazy, and yeah, it's it didn't look like they would know what they were doing, and I don't like the people in power not knowing what they were doing when I'm not knowing what I'm doing, and I'm looking up to them to be like, 
you tell me what are we supposed to do to like make life better um but yeah so labor born so it's kia starmer is that how you pronounce his name i don't actually know but he's gonna be like the new prime minister i think um and yeah that that's that's it what what are people's thoughts on this <laughs> i'm really curious okay so it's currently like half one so it has been a while since i updated you guys and i have i'm gonna be honest i've just been on tiktok all day that is literally my day gone um am i unhappy that i wasted my time a little bit but like i enjoyed myself and like near the end of it i started making tiktoks which is me just singing along to taylor swift songs so that's been fun but <laughs> i was trying to sing champagne problems again and and i like put the sound up like really loud because i was like i'm gonna put it up like i usually sing along when it's like on spotify and as I put it out, like, loud, mid-song, I heard downstairs, like, something being, like, posted through the letter... Le it's not called a letterbox. I don't know what it's called. Like, posted through, you know, the thing on the door where letters come through. And I'm like, oh, is that my book that I ordered? And then I was like, wait... So I was like singing along very loudly to a very loud song while I was like, wait, do I need to go downstairs? Like, is is he okay to like throw it in or do I need to go downstairs? Is it too big? Like, is the box too big? While well, I'm still singing along and then I'm like, holy shit, he can probably hear me. Or they, sorry, he, they, she, I don't know, postman, postwoman, I don't know who it was, but I was like oh my god, oh my god, I need to stop because they can hear me. <laughs> and then I just carried singing along because I I didn't hear them knock. They just threw in whatever they threw in. Um, and I haven't gone downstairs since. I finished the song. I finished the song. And now I'm like, oh, let's get in on camera. Right, let's see what we got. Because I think... Sorry, ignore ignore the background, ignore the background. I'm not showing the background. <gasps> it is the book, I think. I think it is the book. It's no fucking way that just fit through that. Right, that is huge. That just fit through, sorry, that tiny thing. I think that just about made it just about um anyway sorry ignore most of the things in the background right i think this is reckless from works and it's kind of like a special edition have i read powerless not yet have i read the second book which is like a novella powerful not yet have i just got and bought the second book yeah So this is Reckless, which is the second, technically third, but like the second one is a novella, so this is the second one. But yeah, this is the second book. Oh my god, look at that! That is beautiful. So um, in another video, I mentioned that Lauren Roberts liked my story, where um, I reposted her coming out with this special edition in the works. And I was saying, like, I'm not going to be there in Liverpool to go to the works. And I could buy it online. <laughs> I got it online. Not that I have read the series yet, so I don't know if I like it. Um, also, right, sorry. Let me kneel down, because it's just easier this way. I just saw some TikTok drama over this series um the powerless series and and what is it called the red queen so between like an older fantasy book and also hunger games um people are saying that lauren roberts has like stolen 
the storyline and the world and the characters from like all the books I mean I don't know because I haven't read it yet and I actually haven't read the Red Queen yet either so I can't really talk <laughs> anything about this I'm just saying that's what's out there um also I, honestly I don't know how right or wrong they are but but I do know like with there's only so much you can do with like fantasy books with romance books there is only so much you can do this is there is only so much you can like come up with that is like brand new so um so yeah that is where we are but like people are loving this series so and you still want to read it please don't come at me <laughs> um if there's any like drama around it like I have heard of it I really don't know um I'm just not on anyone's side at the moment because I haven't read any of the books <laughs> but yeah I have heard of it just wanted to throw that in there but that is pretty and it was only five pounds what is it yeah it does say 9.99 on the back um but yeah it was only five pounds and yeah it's only that at the side not at like the ooh ooh why is it why is it um black at the bottom huh it's not at the top but it is at the bottom hmm curious anyway another book from my book haul so it is still the same day before anyone says it's not it is um yeah i need to go and pick up the kids from school and what was i even gonna say gonna put you down there um i can't remember what i was gonna say oh i basically did nothing all day I think I said that in the last clip, um, that i just been on TikTok and that is all I've done all day. Um, like, when once I got home, I've just been on TikTok. How sad is that? And I haven't read anything. So, yeah, it's it's becoming a problem. You know, oh god, I know I fell off the set. As I was trying to sit down, um, you know the way I was like, oh my god, why is it so bright everywhere, but not on my face? So yeah, the way I was like reading lots near the start of the year, and then it kind of just stops. Yes, it was like the Taylor Swift obsession kind of taking over a bit, but also TikTok, it's it's bad. Like now that it knows what I like, <laughs> like my feed is just it's like personalized to me since like the algorithm or whatever learned what i like it's hard to get off like once i'm on it i'm like oh 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 and it just keeps going and i'm like i was later i'm like oh so yeah um i kind of want to delete tiktok but at the same time, there's this Taylor Swift challenge on it where you collect all these beads to make a friendship bracelet. And I'm on week three, four, three? Wait, what week am I on? We've had TTP the Midnight Folklore Evermore? Or have we just had Evermore so far? I think we've just had Evermore. Okay, honestly, I don't know. It's either week three or four that I'm on. And it goes on till the 12th of September. And I want to know, like, what happens at the end. So, I can't delete TikTok because I need to get the beats. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is becoming a massive distraction. So, so if anyone has any tips on how to reduce your screen time, I would love to know. Because nothing's been working. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I tried, like, apps that, like, bro block other apps to, like, you can't go on the app. But I can't keep myself accountable. Like, if I can cancel that somehow, even if I have to go into the app and just wait, like, 20 seconds and then press leave, like, leave the the block, work block or whatever, 
I'd, I'll wait, like I'll go onto the app, I'll wait the 20-25 seconds and then I'll press leave and yeah, it's it's bad. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. Anyway, I need to get the kids. Don't know if I'm gonna film anything after that because obviously they're gonna be home. Um, I am watching Love Island tonight, might pick you up there and also Aerostore Amsterdam Night 2 the live stream i'll probably be onto that at some point so that is also on the list of things to do and i do still need to read today so if i ever get to that i'll update you hey guys update i just came downstairs to do the dishes real quick there's literally not much it's only a few plates but my mum's on her way back home she's on the plane right now so woohoo um and what was I even gonna say? Shout out to Christina, I think that's how you pronounce your name. If it's not, please correct me in the comments. But shout out to Christina from the Philippines. She's a new subscriber and told me to shout her out. So hi, glad you're here, welcome. Um, I mean, if you have watched until this point, if you haven't, I guess you won't see it. <laughs> but I hope you have, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. I wanted to let you guys know, I watched the Good Girl's Guide to Murder TV show on BBC iPlayer, and I have read the books. It is books originally, and the the episodes that have been out so far, it's based on the first book, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting, like, I, the first book I've read, like, years and years ago, so I was trying to remember, but, like, I knew the, I knew who the main killer person was, I mean, there's, like, yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm trying not to spoil it, I knew who was gonna get done at the end, basically, so I kind of knew what was going on, and I kind of picked up on the clues that they left, but only because I knew the end. <laughs> so if I was looking at it, like, if I didn't know the end, I would not have picked up on that. But like, when you look back, that's when you pick up on it. But because I already knew it, I watched it for the first time and picked up on the clues. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, it was, it was okay. I guess I recommend. It wasn't a big deal, but I think because it's, um, it's more of like a YA kind of, TV show slash book so I think I think it was a bit eh for me some some moments were just a bit cringy but but I get it like that's what what it is so yeah but when I read the book back in the day I did really enjoy it so I do recommend um I also recommend the second book the third book not so much um also the third book is I think it's for adult audiences rather than YA, but um, yeah, do recommend. Right guys, it's currently 11pm and I'm just about to catch up on Love Island because I actually missed today's episode because I was watching the Aerostore live with my sister and I was just like, okay fine, like we're watching it, I'm hanging out with her. I'm gonna like stay present in like that moment rather than like trying to watch two things at once like I usually do when I'm alone. Um, so yeah, gotta catch up. I'm glad it's already uploaded. Like I thought it was only uploaded like 24 hours after it happens. So yeah, I'm very happy it's already here. Um, and I'm also <laughs> um, packing to, you know, like head back to Liverpool tomorrow. Turns out I don't actually have to stay, like, tomorrow. Um, because my mum's, like, event that she was going to attend tomorrow was cancelled. So, so yeah, I can, like, head back whenever I want tomorrow. I do love hanging out with my sisters and, like, my mum and, like, being at home and stuff. Like, in my mum's house, home. But I've realised that my Liverpool home is, like it's become like home like this this is my mum's house and that's home if you get what I mean like when I get home there to my Liverpool apartment I'm just like oh I'm home you know that like feeling when you get home and 
and yeah I do I do miss it and I do like my alone time like I love my sisters love my mom love hanging out with them um but yeah I've been here since Monday so yeah you've seen me travel here so you'll see me leave I guess well that's tomorrow do I carry this on till tomorrow we'll see I am so very sorry girl it's Christine not Christina I just reread, I screenshotted your comment to make sure I remember to shout you out. And I just reread it and it says Christine. I'm sorry, <laughs> but welcome anyway if you see this. And I hope you enjoyed my little um, error in your name. Um, <laughs> and I'm actually so sorry because people always get my name wrong. So now I've just done the same to you.